What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Here are some random stuff that I got on my thrift haul. First two items are two little books by Little Leather Library. They are in very rough condition, but I did only pay a dollar for both of them. First book is by Robert Louis Stevenson. The title is Will of the Mill and Markham. Hope I'm pronouncing that correct. And then the second one is by William Shakespeare, and the title is A Midsummer Night's Dream. Slightly better condition, but the first page came off. Um, I did look them up, and they were published between 1920 and 1924, so I guess they're not bad for being 100 years old. Next, we have a clock by General Electric. This is the Telecron model 2H104. It says made in the USA, and I'm gonna guess it's between the 50s and 60s. It is missing the cable, so I can't plug it in, but I only paid a dollar for it. And then here are other color options that it would come in. Let me know in the comments below which one you would pick. I also found a Coca-Cola Jumbo Dial Thermometer. It was made in the USA. It's quite large. It measures 12 inches across. I'm not too sure on the date. It does have a plastic face cover, so it could be from the 80s. And for this one, I paid $7.99. Next, we have a pair of old binoculars in its case. I feel like everything I find is in rough condition, but I still appreciate it. These were $4.99. On the inside, it says Sands and how do you pronounce that? Strife or Streff? I couldn't find too, too much on this company. They went out of business roughly in the 1960s. They were based in Chicago, but some of their stuff would come from Japan. These came from Japan. It says it at the bottom of the case. They would make binoculars, microscopes, slide rulers, and other stuff. You can see the company name on the left and then other little infos. Wouldn't it be interesting to know what trips these binoculars were taken on? Last item I got is very random, but I like random stuff. It's a pair of old glasses. I found the same pair on Etsy, and they put 1950s, which I could agree with since it has that 50s look. They are made of aluminum, and they're made in the USA. And let's go ahead and see how this prescription looks. So how do you think Peppa Pig looked? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do enjoy showing you guys vintage things, so I think I'm gonna continue doing that. I have a lot of more stuff to show you. And they're not all home decor stuff. I also have old toys. Stay tuned for those future videos. Thanks again, and until next time.